been like working with your receivers? Who maybe stood out to you? It's been great energy. I mean, those guys, each and every day they come out, they're willing to work, they're willing to learn as well, and they're willing to feed off each other's uh, energy. And they all, all of them coach each other up. Uh, Kobe's done an amazing job coaching the guys up on TV, just him being a veteran guy. And, uh, Played a lot of games and see the experience, different things DBs do and stuff like that. So it's been a great, uh, great time uh, just working with those guys. And guys that stood out like uh, X and Goldie uh, stood out today, Burdell, Casey, uh, Callum Fox uh, stood out. Uh, I mean, the list just goes on and on, those guys just standing out. So, and they're growing up and maturing fast as well, which we need. Were there any impressive plays that came from the wide receiver room today on the uh, scrimmage? X, uh, the touchdown I threw the X, uh, great release off the, off the ball from press coverage. Uh, Bradell had a one-hand catch uh, today that was outstanding. Um, go to catching traffic. Uh, go to had a couple catches in traffic. Kaysen being able to read the defender and run by the guy uh, for a touchdown. So all those guys doing an amazing job uh, just being able to catch the chances as well, being able to catch the ball and get uh, yak. I mean, that's the main thing you want to focus on, getting yak and getting down the field. KJ, have you had much chance to sit down and pick the guys' brain when it comes to offenses and, and kind of what his plan is for this offense? I have, I have. I mean, on uh, my recruiting visit, I mean, I came in, I mean, I didn't do the whole take pictures and everything. We came in straight to the meet room. We got to talk and straight ball. Uh, so, I mean, like I said, it's, the offense is pretty much similar to what I've been in in the past and just things that we did then and what we was, had great success on and what he's uh, incorporated here and what they had success on. We kind of bonded them together and things that I like and I'm comfortable with running and first thing that he's uh, had great success with. So it's, a, it's always just going back and forth, great talks with him and just being able to just have a guy that, that understands that I'm coached on every level and uh, the, a great offensive mind guy. So just having a, coach, a head coach like that is a blessing. As you, I know how much Cam, we talked about this before, uh, mm -hmm. Cam Newton was a big, you got like highlights and stuff on your phone, but <laughs> how much have you, have you had a chance to really pick his brain kind of what, what about that, about Cam and what he did? Uh, yeah, I mean, we sat down uh, and watched uh, Cam Newton uh, games from when he coached Cam and things that they ran back then and how they read and the things like that. And sometimes things that Cam didn't like at all, and he, he even showed me that like Cam didn't agree with this play right here because this type of look or everything, he preferred this better. So just having a coach that's real flexible and the player coach it, and want to see you succeed and want, want you to be out there and be confident and play your game. I know it's uh, obviously the offense today is not a finished product, product yet, but can you kind of get a glimpse? Did you get a feel for what it's going to be like this season, you know, working with, the, with the, your teammates around you? Yeah, uh, a lot of fireworks. It's going to be uh, explosive. Uh, to, I mean, today with me just being able to push the ball down the field, like X said. I mean, we know we can run the ball. We want to grow into passing the ball and extend the plays down the field and create explosive uh, throughout the game and make sure we keep that momentum on our side and make sure we're on the rise. And, Things like that, because I mean, the momentum, uh, we want to keep that at all times. I mean, we don't want to give it to the other team at all. We want to keep the momentum, keep the energy going, and things of that nature. So it was a really good turnout today, being able to just create explosives and push the ball down the field, right? You mentioned, it's early, but you mentioned pushing the ball down the field being a, room, a growth for improvement. Mm -hmm. what, ha what steps have you guys been taking to do that? What has been different? Uh, just being able to get uh, the receivers an opportunity. I mean, we call it opportunity ball. So just giving those guys a chance, I mean, to make a play on the ball. I mean, that's what. Uh, Big time players make big time plays. So just being able to just put them, trying to get the ball in play, make his hand, let them make plays, and go up and uh, grab 50 50 balls. 50 50 balls for us is 100 to 0, you know what I'm saying? So just being able to give guys a chance to uh, go up and make plays. How are you liking Orlando? Uh, I'm loving Orlando. I mean, great weather. I ain't got to worry about being too cold or nothing. So, great weather. Uh, the vibe's good. Uh, loving the people in the community as well. I mean, they all they welcome me uh, with open arms. Anytime I go out, it's always great, uh, great vibes and uh, good attention. So. I mean, I know, I know how much you said you look forward to getting in the bounce house, but how, what's the excitement growing up in you for this season? I mean, it's a big season coming up here last year. You have something to prove. Uh, yeah, like you said, I mean, I got something to prove. Uh, last one, last go round. So uh, just going in with that mentality that uh, nothing can stop me. Uh, I know I've been faced with a lot of adverse situations in my life. So just being able to use that as motivation as well. Uh, people counted me out and thing, people said I couldn't get it done and I just want to go in and prove everybody wrong. So. I'm looking forward to just getting out there and showcasing my talents and being able to just be KJ. KJ, the first time you talked to us, I'd asked you about, you know, coming in and you had said it was an opportunity to kind of get that fresh start and mm -hmm. get one big hurrah on your way out. Um, obviously, the goal is to win the championship, no question. But what is it you'd like to see? Um, what is it What is it that you'd like to show out, among anything else, for yourself uh, in your last campaign here? Uh, that I'm a quarterback first. I mean, I can I can I can make plays with my legs, but I also can uh, throw the ball as well and be accurate with the ball as well too, and make great decisions with the ball. And I turn the ball over 
and put our team in uh, in harm's way. So that's the main thing I want to do is be able to go out there and uh, show, showcase my skills, showcase uh, uh, what it takes to be a quarterback in uh, the Big 12 in a, a conference like this and be able to just go out there and have fun with it at the end of the day and uh, just get back to know what I love. More of, a fun, more of a fun question. You've probably seen Coach Malzahn talk about some of your game film and some of the hits that you brushed yeah. off or like just threw the guy off you. What are your thoughts on that? And uh, that it just, for me, it's just a mentality thing. Uh, it's just one man, like my mentality is just one man can't tackle me when I'm back there in the pocket or if I break a run. I'm not trying to let one guy bring me down as well. So, And I have to hear from my mom too. So, I mean, I, that's the last person I want to hear from. So. Just not being able to hear her mouth saying you let one guy tackle you or you went down soft or anything like that. So I just always had a mentality that one one person can't tackle me. And I'm always trying to create an explosive play. I mean, when the team is down, the energy is kind of low, I can be able to provide that spark to get us back going and get us back on track. How much does your mom, you should talk about it, you do want to hear from your mom, but mm -hmm. how much is she in your ear when it comes to how you play and your performance on the field? She's my biggest critic. Uh, so, <laughs> I mean, I love that, you know what I'm saying, coming from somebody so close uh, that actually knows football, knows what she's talking about. Uh, she understands position. I mean, she knows everything from a bad throw, what it could have been, footwork, anything. So she's real, real, real picky on things that I do. And uh, it just, like I said, it's a great turnout to have somebody that close that understands football and just want to see me succeed and me me uh, reach my full potential. So it's a great turnout, even though we we bump heads a lot. We bump heads a lot. <laughs> but even when I'm out there on the field, I still can hear, hear her voices, hear what she's saying, stuff like that. So it's good. What's your mom's name? Katori. Okay. Thank <laughs> you.